Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. I am now an official Giants partner. So if you do decide to pre-order this pack, I will have a link in the description. Please use that link or use my code Chapman when you order this from the website. And I don't know if you can do it in Steam. I don't think you can. I think it's only for website orders. But if you're ordering from Giants website, make sure you either use the link or put my a referral in as Chapman. If I want to stay a partner and continue getting early access to these, and if you guys want me to continue doing farm some videos where we preview stuff, I need you guys to put my partner code in. Otherwise, I will lose access to that. So I have to sell $1,500 a year worth of product in order to stay active. So this is something that's new, and I'm just letting you guys know, if you want to support my channel, but you can't do it monetarily, but you're going to buy this, please buy it from their website and use the code Chapman in the referral, um, or use the link in the description, because those will both help me continue to be able to bring you guys early access coverage. If not, it's not the end of the world, but uh, it's nice to get the stuff early, and we've been getting it for free pretty much for the last two or three years, thanks to Stara, but now Giants is moving me into the actual bronze role or partner role so anyway be sure to use that when you when you go to buy this let's take a look at the new production pack and what's coming in i know there's um a few of you already that i've talked to that are super excited about this pack i don't necessarily do production on the level that will um bring me to this but some of the things in here i definitely am going to be using so uh, that includes you can see here there's a like a bread stand i don't do the bakery stuff yet but eventually maybe we'll get there, but probably not till the next version of Farm Sim. I really need to stick with one map, and that's something that I'm learning. Even though I've been doing this for years, I still make mistakes, and one of them is that I have too many farms, so I never get anywhere. Uh, I'm trying to stick to just one farm until the, the uh, next version comes out, and then we'll go one farm at a time once Farm Sim 25 comes out. But in the meantime, I would imagine these are also probably going to be part of FS25 as they usually transfer over. Uh, we have a, a bread stand, a vegetable stand, and a new um, dairy stand. So if you have any of those productions or you're just growing vegetables, you can sell them at a little roadside stand. You can put this out in front of your property. You could set it up in a parking lot, but it's neat. It's really cool stuff. Uh, next up, we have, um, well, this is showing again these three different things in the pricing. So we have selling points to expand our operation. If you want to start small, and it gives us, like I said, there are some small selling stands, which are nice. It also comes with some very large selling options, but anyway, it's it's interesting. So um, then we also have uh, new in, in this version, we have a, a, a solar panel set that we can buy and a solar panel cleaner that supposedly automatically cleans it. So that's pretty neat. Um, there's a, there's a couple new, you can see them in the background here in this photo, a couple new cheap windmills. There's one new cheap windmill. They've got two of them here. Um, here's one of the larger selling things. You can actually like your little fresh, like Jeremy Clarkson's farm shop. It's just a one room shop. <laughs> or if you want to get crazy, you can go to farm store Depot and you can buy this and <laughs> it's like tractor supply. Look, there's mowers inside. Yeah. Uh, or a really big grocery store that you can buy. And then the simple marketplace. Also new in the game, we have, and we'll go through these pieces of equipment, but we have um, crop washing. I would imagine any kind of ground crops, carrots, parsnips. I'm, I'm just making this up, but I'm, it says multiple crops. So I'm thinking your ground crops, your sugar beets, your potatoes, your, your carrots, your, your, the new things that just got added. You can wash them now and get a washed product in a pallet, and it's actually worth more. It says here that um, you'll actually earn more money from using these. I forget where I saw that. Yeah, washing drum produces all kinds of wash crops. You can sell them at higher prices. So it's this will actually increase the price of the product that you're selling, so probably a worthwhile investment. Um, and there's also a Laley one we'll, you'll see later that cuts up sugar beets and separates stones out of them. And then we also have, um, and you're, once again, it's not pictured here, but there is a station that you can put near your animals that will take the air and you mix it with sulfuric acid and the animal air coming out of their barn goes in with the sulfuric acid and it makes liquid manure. So um, unfortunately you have to buy the sulfuric acid, but it, um, it can make fairly inexpensive fertilizer using just the air that the animals leave. So you could put it in with sheep, maybe with horses. I'm not sure which animals it's going to support. It doesn't say, but it gives you an idea. And then also 
there's a huge distribution center, and you can see that here in this clip. Um, now, I noticed, and if you look closely at this picture, you can see there's a zone here, like a loading zone. I wonder if you set stuff down here, if it just automatically goes in, and obviously there's a loading zone here. You can see these. And so I think that if you pull your truck up, you might be able to auto load, like just pick how much you want in there and it'll fill it up. So I think that you can load here and, or yeah, load it in and unload it out here. We'll see. I'm not positive about that, but I'm, I'm thinking that that's probably how that works. But you can also hand load it. And you can see here, we've got this forklift. That sounds like a, a terrible, awful time to me trying to get these things on the shelves. Nice and neat. Probably something that I'll just do because I like to do it. But Anyway, if your farm is so big that you need a distribution center, you're probably playing multiplayer. <laughs> but anyway, there's that. Now, let's take a look at the video real quick here and see what is going on in the video. Let's see if we can see some stuff real quick. E for, e for everyone. Oh, I got to turn the audio off. Sorry. Here's some footage of the... Um, there's our solar panels. You can see they're all dirty. And uh, sorry, it's a little fuzzy. That's just the quality of the video that they sent, so... Um, these are all the new buildings, and we'll go through them again. They're showing a train for some reason. Oh, that was it. Okay, right there. I, I hate these short clip videos. Come on. Go back. There. This is the thing that collects the air from the animals. You can see there's cows there. It comes in here, and then it you, and you get fertilizer. It looks like you put the sulfuric acid in. This tank must be the tank for the actual... It, where it makes the the fertilizer so you mix this plus this and you get that um, anything else that we missed that was really quick just some of the building pictures there's the the facility oh god they really crammed a lot of stuff in here <laughs> look at how quickly i hate these oh the windmills that's what they're showing here you got the new windmills we're already almost halfway through the video uh vending machines and the little farm shop the jeremy clarkson farm shop is <laughs> chipping norton yeah, and there's a farmer's market in the park. Yep. I don't know how you're going to place those if you don't own the park, but we'll see. Uh, storage shed for vehicles oh, with cameras on it. There's our cleaning. Oh, oh, and more. You're working in the warehouse. Oh, what was this? Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, let's see if we can get it. There we go. Okay, that's the root crop storage building. You got, we haven't looked at these yet, so you guys will see them in a minute, but there's the cleaner. That is our sugar beet chopper. Chops them up and puts rocks out. You can see there's the rocks. Um, so you can clean stones out of the sugar beets. Bale storage facility. I don't know if it's going to be an auto loader system, but it might be. And then they go for their little available April 30th. Okay. Um, now let's go ahead and take a look at what comes in the pack. So we go to DLCs. It's $7.99. That's not a bad deal. And here we have just more pictures, but we have the sulfuric acid tank to make the fertilizer with the Lely machine. Vehicle and box storage shed. Okay. Open front shed with bale storage. Another vehicle storage shed. Just a regular open front, front shed. Once again, I don't know if these are going to auto load or not. It would be nice if it did, but it may not. Usually the giant stuff doesn't, but we'll see. A bulk storage shed, root crop storage shed. We This is sorely needed. We have not had one of these in the game, or not very many options anyway. Large vehicle shed. Once again, we got plenty of those. There's lots of mods, too. The, the unexciting part about all of these is that we've got tons of mods that do the same thing. So, um, Solar panel, uh, wind turbine. These are interesting. Hopefully, this is affordable and you can use it to generate income. Um the washing drum, I think, is really cool. This will be something that we probably use when we do root crops uh, because you can get more money for them. Once again, making fr not free but cheap fertilizer just by using air and sulfuric acid from the animals. We have the, this is the machine that cleans the sugar beets. I don't know that I'll ever use that, but it's kind of neat. Bakery, if you own a bakery, you can sell stuff here and at the bakery. If you own, there's a vegetable stand, dairy stand. I don't know why they didn't have these earlier. This is really late in the game to be doing this. There's lots of mods that do this too, just so you know. I'm just putting that out there. More sell points. Once again, fresh. You got a, mar a farmer's market. Vending machines, multi-vending machines, big vending machines. Farmer's market. I don't know if you can walk into any of these buildings. It would be cool if you could. I don't think you probably will be able to, but they're still they're neat. 
Um, they just give you more options. Once again, some of these things have been available via mod. Um, distribution center is pretty cool. Then we have the the solar panel washing robot. I don't, I don't know. I mean, if you're doing solar panels, you might as well do this too. Depends on how expensive it is, but you probably get more output if you keep them clean. So, and then you have the big vehicle workshop, which is basically a repair station, but huge. Um, and I'm sure it's probably mega expensive too. So anyway, those are the things that are coming with the pack. You know, I see a couple things in here. I'm super interested in this. And I do like the sell points because they give us some different ones to pick from than the ones I have. But I, I do have some market stands that are like this that sell vegetables and stuff like that. So I'm not, this is nothing new for me, but, but they're, they're still cool. Um, and, you know, once again, you have the whole supermarket you can sell stuff at. So it's kind of neat. Anyway, that gives you an idea of what's in the pack. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Once again, don't forget to use my partner code, Chapman, C-H-A-P-M-A-N. If you purchase something, that gives us credit and it allows us to continue giving you early access viewing of these products. You know, I stream it and let, so you guys can see it early. We put all the things into use and see what they look like. And I can also, you know, I do videos for YouTube for it. So anyway, looking forward to getting this. And I will see you guys, I guess, in a couple of days here because this, if it comes out on the 30th, which is going to be, let's take a look at our calendar here. That's ne that Tuesday. I'm going to get it Friday the 26th. So, so during the weekend, keep an eye open. We'll have uh, videos of it actually being used and trying out the different buildings and taking a look at them. And so don't forget to come here for that. And then also check out my Twitch channel. Link is in the description, but it's... Um, www.twitch.com slash VBLU guitar, V blue guitar with no E V blue B L U guitar. Um, and that is my Twitch channel link in the description. See you guys next time. Be sure to subscribe. Thumbs up. Always help. Have a great night. Bye.